Hey, did you know there's a gene in your DNA that defines how you respond to stress and how you deal with pain? It's called the warrior or worrier gene. And understanding which one you are can really help you unlock that level of performance and productivity that you may be struggling to find. If you've ever thought that you might have ADHD or OCD, anxiety, depression, or other mood disorders like that, or maybe you've just got some brain fog and some low levels of motivation, this video is for you. I'm Dr. J, and for almost two decades, I've been working with entrepreneurs and urban professionals in Vancouver, British Columbia here. As a naturopathic doctor, a performance and productivity coach, I use comprehensive blood work and functional genetic testing to help formulate precision and personalized medicine programs to help urban professionals get the most out of their brains and their bodies. If you're a new parent, an entrepreneur, a business owner, or just a weekend warrior, or want to get more out of your brain and your body, understanding your status for the warrior or warrior gene just might be the most important thing that you need to know about how your body is built to function at its best. We're really seeing an unprecedented level of burnout in the workplace and in our industry as integrative healthcare practitioners. And despite all the awareness around mental health, we still don't have a lot of great tools to help us understand how to individualize treatment for specific people. And the reason for that is that we're not looking at people's individual genetics right down to the DNA level, what really makes us unique from one person to the next. How we're built at the DNA level really defines how our brains interact with the environment and the stressors that affect us on a daily basis. Here's what you need to know about the warrior or warrior gene and how to get the most out of that information to maximize your productivity and your performance. The warrior warrior gene codes for an enzyme called catechol O methyltransferase or COMT. Its primary job is to break down or metabolize neurotransmitters, especially dopamine and epinephrine or adrenaline. These are two really key key neurotransmitters or hormones that are released in our fight or flight response, that sympathetic nervous system response to stress. This is the system that our nervous system uses when it thinks it's under duress, when it thinks it's running away or fighting a saber-toothed tiger. Generally, if you've got the fast version of the COMT gene, you code for the warrior gene variant. These are the people that if we were at war, we would want you leading a unit. You're going to thrive under pressure. You are not going to crack. You're going to be the one who leads us through that stress. Warrior gene variants are generally going to perceive less stress and be able to push through hard times a little bit better, but you're also going to need adequate recovery time. And this is one of the big keys to the warrior gene variant is that while you will do really well under pressure and while you will thrive under stress or under difficult circumstances, you also need adequate recovery time on an ongoing basis. And if we don't get that recovery time, that's a really slippery slope to burnout. If you have this variant, it's very likely that you've learned that you can cram for exams and just do as well or better than if you study low key for a longer period of time. The key key here is recovery. Warrior gene variants have to pay attention to being able to provide that level of recovery so that you can recharge those batteries so that you can be at your best to go superhuman for a short period of time. In short, warrior gene is going to be great under pressure for short periods of time, but also requires more frequent recovery time in order to facilitate that level of performance. If you have the slow version of this gene or the warrior gene, you're probably more prone to perceive higher levels of pain and stress under pressure. You're more likely to flee or freeze under stress, but you're also more likely to develop more vivid memories and you probably have a better memory for independent little pieces of data. You're also going to be less distracted on an ongoing basis and from a productivity standpoint, you're likely the kind of person who will put forth a consistent effort on an ongoing basis and be a very predictable and reliable person, but probably less capable or more flustered under pressure. Knowing which gene variant you have for the warrior or warrior gene, especially in combination with other gene variants related to neurotransmitter testing helps me as an integrative healthcare practitioner and naturopathic doctor provide appropriate motivation and accountability to my patients. And it also helps me select the most impactful and leveraged supplements dietary recommendations, and even some medications that are gonna be most likely to take your mental and cognitive game to the next level. This gene variant really makes a huge difference in how I advise my patients on energy management, on motivation, on productivity and time blocking, sleep optimization and habit stacking, not to mention dietary interventions and nutraceutical supplementations, as well as medication use. All of these tools might be those that you might choose to use to help address symptoms of brain fog, of mental fatigue, attention deficit, as well as symptoms of anxiety, depression, 
ADHD specifically, and other mental health challenges. Knowing how your brain and body are built to respond to stress is essential for getting the most out of them and really living the happiest, most successful and productive version of yourself. Do you wanna know if your brain is predisposed to warrior mode or warrior mode? This is just one of over 90 different gene variants that I look at in our comprehensive functional genetic assessment. Follow me for more on how you can get the most out of your brain and body using functional genetics. Check out my other videos on functional genetics. And if you're in the Vancouver area, you can book a free health strategy session with me. The link is in the description. If you know of someone else who might benefit from hearing about the warrior gene, or if you think maybe they're the warrior gene, make sure to fire them that link. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, don't hesitate to shoot them into the comments below. And if you're a guy watching this video and looking to get the most out of your brain and body, be sure to check out my videos on testosterone, specifically how to unlock bioavailable testosterone.